What's going on everybody? It's December 24th, Christmas Eve day here in Angeles City. I'm at the hotel, we have some progress. Today, I gotta show you some stuff. It's coming together nicely as always. I know I keep saying that, but improvements every day that's happening. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Let's see what the bar is looking like today. These gentlemen are working hard. There they are. There's Joey. He's our contractor for all this stuff. I will put Joey's information on the screen if anybody's interested in what he's doing for us uh, to be done in their home or establishment. I'll give you his information, his link to his Facebook page, as well as his contact number here in Angeles City. He's, so far, everything's coming out beautifully. Look at this bar, guys. It is looking good, guys. We decided, once this upper uh, light and, and glass rail uh, started coming in, to keep these boxes open for display instead of closed off. Originally, it was going to be closed off just like the bottom part of the bar, all the way around like they're skinning the back here. They were also gonna skin the front that way, just a solid uh, stained wood. And uh, we decided that we're just gonna keep these bins open as a display for alcohol. So we have a good place to showcase all the alcohol. And there may be other things up here, little knickknacks or whatever. But we're gonna turn these into light boxes. And that's gonna look beautiful all the way around here. But these guys are doing a great job. You can see how they're skinning the back of these boxes as well. They've got it supported up here with these beams to support the weight. I mean, everything's done just right, guys. We're gonna have this thing decked out. It's coming along nicely. Now, Joey's also doing the signage for us in the front of the building. All, there's some sign boxes he's made. Um, that's coming on, coming up next. Got another big sign box out here. This is the main one over the doors. He's getting lights put in it right now, LED lights. And that's gonna be very nice as well. Show you what's uh, show what's going on in the in the room here. Got a couple of new updates in our 101 room. Got some more paint done. We decided to paint over this wallpaper. We was gonna paper over it. You can see the pattern <laughs> through it, but it's kind of cool the way it turned out. So I'm, I'm happy with that. We got us a new AC unit. We got us a TCL, one horsepower uh, inverter put in the other day. So that's done. Closed up the old uh, window unit hole there right there. We got some touching up to do on the paint, but these guys knocked this out out of the park. The people we've contracted for this uh, air conditioning unit to be put in. So they did a really good job. But check out this fan. I got this ceiling light slash fan here. And I don't know if the light glare, I'm gonna to try to focus in a little bit better. But that is a fan, guys. You can see the blades kind of tucked in behind. Let me give you an example of how this fan works. Very cool. I know on the uh, previous video, I showed you in the, in the box, we had this fan coming in, but Let's give you an example of how this looks. There comes the blades, just hidden. And they come right out of the top. Very cool ceiling fan. Puts out some little breeze too, I thought that's on low. And every time you turn the light off and on, it changes colors to a different tone of lighting. Super bright, they're there. Every time you flip the switch, you get a different tone out of the light. It's very cool though. And those, those blades just kind of tuck in behind the light and disappear. Very nice, nice little touch. I believe the bathroom is about done here in the room. I think I showed you this before, but I'll show it to you again. It's all set up and ready to go. We just gotta wipe things down. Got a new water heater put in up here. And uh, 
it's all, it's ready to go. This bathroom's other than hanging up the shower curtain, which I don't want to do right now uh, due to the dust. We're all set here. Looking good though, guys. Looking good. Like I said, it's Christmas Eve day here in the Philippines, here in Angeles City, and these guys are still working to get things done in a timely fashion. And I'm happy they're doing it, but I still want them to get home tonight and enjoy their families and time with their loved ones for Christmas. I think they're coming back uh, on the 26th. <laughs> They want to get it done, guys. They want to get this thing done for us. So, so far, so good. Everything, the progress is going nicely. Got a lot of rooms being painted upstairs as well. Second floor. We're on track for uh, mid mid January opening. That's a lot of you are asking. How much are the rooms? When are you going to open? Uh, we haven't nailed down the price points on the rooms totally yet. We're working on that, and uh, we're going to uh, we're going to open around January 16 is the tentative date. We'll see how all that goes, but that's that's the deal right now. January 16. Another thing, tomorrow morning, Christmas Day, we're going to uh, the children under the bridge with Banana Man, like we did before. Mark Hazel, uh, a, a, again with the Banana Man and his whole, uh, his whole efforts that he does every day with these kids. We've, collaborated and, and we're putting together a big gift giving uh, event like they do every year. But this year Mark and Hazel got involved as well as uh, uh, Mark's father's church back in T Kentucky has contributed and donated money for the fund. And there's some nice bags of Christmas uh, gifts given being given away to all the kids. And I want you guys to join us for that Christmas day if you can. Um, I know you're going to be busy with your families and friends at home, but if you have some downtime during all that and you want to watch a little something, tune on the video Christmas Day. It will be on Christmas Day for you guys back home. Uh, back. All right, we've also received some room safes. Like I showed you on our one of our previous videos, the room safes came in for all the rooms. So yes, we have proper safes for those that, you may, that may have missed that coming into the rooms. Also got us a aprons delivered. Got some cool kitchen aprons that we ordered. This got to be ironed out and get all the creases out, but those are pretty cool. Make sure everybody's got uh, aprons on. Kind of matches the decor of the restaurant. I like it. The hammering never stops, guys. <laughs> the grinding and the hammering just continues. We're getting a lot of people walking up. Wait for the hammer. <laughs> getting a lot of people walking up trying to rent. Even with everything going on, people constantly walking up out here, which is a great sign trying to book a room. Uh, we should do re really well here. It's a great location right here on Don Rico. I'll put a map at the end of the video to show you guys where this is. Many of you asked where you're located. It's real simple. It's right here on Don Wico, Perimeter Road, um, by the Clark Gate. So more items are coming in every day. Uh, we got these gloves that came in, of course, for the kitchen. The uh, Cooking for uh, kitchen prep, different sizes, rubber gloves. I don't know how many people are using these here in town, but I doubt too many are. <laughs> but we will be. Also got me some butane burner uh, torches for the kitchen as well. All you guys that know uh, about what's going on in a restaurant kitchen will know what that's for. Got some real, real big old long gloves for the oven because that thing will burn you. So we got some oven gloves here. They look pretty good. My man Marcos would like these on the grill. He's already got some similar to these, but got to have these gloves. And again, another package here. We got hair nets. 
So yes, kitchen staff will wear hair nets and rubber gloves. And that's our first shipment of safety and food safety supplies that came in. Also guys, we had JR from Focus on Asia stop by the other day and uh, do a video of the progress that we're doing here in the hotel and restaurant. I want to thank him for coming by and you guys should go to his channel, Focus on Asia. JR is a great guy. Uh, support his channel. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. He does a lot of other things. He's traveled to Singapore, Thailand and other places here recently. Uh, show him some love. Support his channel. He'd greatly appreciate it. And I appreciate it. He's a good, good guy. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. I'm going to head out and get on the road. Go see if I can make it home in one piece. It's actually not too bad today. Traffic's a little less today. I'm surprised. Get out here to the noise. See what's going on. There's Roji out here. Say hi to everybody, Roji. Say hi to everybody in YouTube. Keep the place safe. Don't let nobody in, right? Only the people that belong here. <laughs> All right, guys. If I don't, if you don't see me, before uh, the next video or for my Christmas, Merry Christmas to all of you. Be safe, enjoy your time with your loved ones and your friends and family. We'll see you on the next video.